Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Haul video. Now this is a major beer haul. So I'm feeling a bit depressed at the moment as my workmates would probably uh, attire. Uh, stressed, anxiety, depression, on the brink and I'm being truthfully honest and I've had to take some time off work because I just need it away from life for a few days. So without uh, depressing you the Asda Beer Hall. This is a substantial beer hall. Cost me some money, I know that. So, from Derby Brewing Company, quintessential. Uh, a 5% um, golden ale. From Shepherd and Neem, their India Pale Ale, 6.1%. It's a beauty. From Derby Brewing Company, business as usual, a 4.4% beer. Amber beer. And again, Asda, they've not done a range review um, or a range update. Their stuff, it's all the same as it's been since last year. God knows what's going off, unless it's just because of the coronavirus and they don't want to change it just yet. But usually by now they've changed. They need to refresh their range. Shepherd and Neem, 1698. And as you can see by some of these, I have reviewed them before. But I did it, a lot of these in the early days of the channel. And to be honest, some beers need reviewing more than once. And that's my excuse. And I'm sticking to it. And yeah, another one. Old Crafty N. 6.5%. One of the king beers. And uh, it's it, this is a, these are, some of these are pick-me-up beers, you know. Guinness West Indies Porter again 6% and again another cracker of a beer and here we have the king still the king as well king goblin 6.6% if you have if you like dark beers or multi beers or strong beers and you haven't had this you're missing out on something massive <sighs> Now, I don't remember reviewing this, so I bought it because I don't remember reviewing it. Amigos, tequila beer, same as Desperados, uh, slightly different. But yeah, 4.6%. I've sprayed them all with bloody disinfectant. <clears throat> and a beer, the first time I had it, I absolutely disliked it massively. <coughs> but now... I actually find it really nice. 8.5%. <coughs> That's a bit of Corona there. <coughs> and new to me, uh, new, new in Asda as well, most wanted Pinot Grigio Fizz. Um, a spritzy Pinot Grigio. Oh no, it's not. It's 11.5%. So it's not, uh, not too um, weak. Secondly, Ojo's Chardonnay Spritz with Rosé and Raspberry, 12, 5.5%. So that, yeah, that's a bit more in the uh, normal range I would have expected. And again from most one, oh, sorry. Now, getting ahead of myself here. And Una Rose, a 10% Vino Frizzante sparkly wine. So yeah, wine in a can. So it different for me to review. I also picked up some miniature spirits. If there's one thing, um, as, as a channel that I, I want to do spirit reviews, I can't afford spirits half the time, you know, they're too bloody expensive. I've always wanted to um, do more spirits. So today I picked up these, reduced from 15 to 11 quid at Asda. So I was happy about that. Fiver for a little bottle is steep. Um, Glenfiddich 18, Glenfiddich 15 and Glenfiddich 12. So, future reviews. I haven't had this since I was in America in 2013. Uh, went to Walt Disney World, Universal, and we had a great holiday. Despite it being around July the 4th. July the 4th being Independence Day. And bloody hell, it was busy. I've never seen the parks so busy in my life. The Magic Kingdom, which is itself a massive park, was shut at 10 o'clock in the morning because it was at capacity. 
that tells you how a bit mad it was. So yeah, Lindemann's Bin 99 Pinot Noir. Uh, seven quid for the bottle. But yeah, sometimes you need a bit of quality in your life. So another one. Ruddle's Best. Round about the pan mark. Um, a decent ale. Well, I do like the green version as normal Ruddle's. And also from Slater's in Stafford, Queen Bee Honey Beer. And then I've got some others that I bought from Asda the other day as well. So that little lot cost me 40 quid. And then I picked these up from Asda as well the other day, but I didn't do a beer with you video for four beers. But Bateman's Mocha. I need this beer to redeem itself. This was one of my favourites. Last time I drank it, didn't get on with it. But we're trying again. I'm trying to trying to see if it will push me back over the edge. 6% volume. From Castle Rock, Elsie Mo. Brilliant beer. Glorious golden ale. Thought it deserved a little bit of a re-review as it were. And two new beers that I've never seen before. From Bad Company, Dark Necessities Milk Stout, 5.5%. And finally, the last one, Pale Aura, Pale Ale. Again, not seen this one before, I don't even know who makes it to be honest. Oh, Bad Company, yeah. <laughs> They're the only two actual new beers that I've seen in Asda. So it just goes to show you that they need to update their range. It looks like they've gone through the wine range because there was wines on separate plimps on a reduced to clear sort of thing. Although they ain't gone down in price very much. Uh, certainly not to prices that you'd want to go and buy. And that's it from another beer hall video. Uh, three beer hall videos today. Uh, some interesting bits from each one. And uh, yes, I'm fleeced. My money's gone. But I got paid for doing the garden uh, the other week, so came in nicely. So and it uh, restocks the wall where the wall was looking a bit uh, bad. So it's a, it's a good thing sometimes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing, everybody, and uh, see you soon. Cheers.